There's that. Uh, okay. And for the merch run update, the reason why I always stress that you got to get your order in immediately is that I never know. I never know how quickly I will be banned from any platform. So Square terminated me, and I can show you their letter actually from the um, the that they sent me because there's no information on it, and it's just bullshit. So this is the letter. You ready? Here's the, the the bounty of information that it says. I guess I'm not gonna be able to fucking show this to you in full version. Hello, Joshua. We recently reviewed your account and unfortunately found activity that violates our terms of service, including, but not limited to, the following. Uh, the Section 3 of the general terms, which is prohibited businesses, uh, there is absolutely nothing about my merchandise that's prohibited in any way. And Section 3 of payment terms. I don't know what the fuck that means. He says, we're very sorry to inform you that due to this activity, your account is now uh, deactivated and we will no longer accept payments related to your business. Uh, I got all the money and had just closed out the store when they, they did it, so I didn't lose anything, and they've already paid out everything, but um, I'm so irritated by this. And it, I called them, and I called their support, and there was a guy called, like, Juan Gonzalez or something. He's like, hello, oh, dear me, we're so sorry to hear that your account's been terminated. Uh, we sent you an email with the, the reasons why, and I was like, you know, you know, I was trying to be nice, and I was like, "Yeah, I'd like to. I'd like to speak to your risk team, um, just so I could get like a more clear information." And he just says, I, "I refer you to the email that we sent you that has the information." It's like, "Oh, well, the email doesn't really say what you, what happened, so I'd like to speak to your risk team." And eventually, he clarified that it's called account services. And he says, "Oh, I don't have any more information for you. What you see in your email is what's available to me." And I was like, "Okay, well, I want to talk to your account services." And he's like, um, "Well, the decision is final. Uh, we will not be able to appeal it." your account will not be reinstated I'm like okay well i still want to talk to your account services I'm like unfortunately the decision is final and this is a literally how this conversation went i wish i recorded it and I, I he refused to hang up on me so i just kept saying oh you know that's fine but i still want to talk to your account services and he's like well the decision is final oh that's okay i'm not appealing it i just want some more information unfortunately we can't do that because the the information you have is what's available to us I'm like oh it's what's available to you but i'm sure account services have us more information he's like well unfortunately the decision is final oh that's okay if it's final you know i just want more information the information that you see is what we have on not, not to account services if you just forward me to account services unfortunately i cannot do that the decision is final and i just did this literally for 20 fucking minutes until he says so this conversation is not very productive and we're not getting anywhere and i just kept interrupting i was like oh you know that's fine but if you forward me to account services and i just continue to fucking do this over and over again until he hangs up and then i think he wanted me to hang up first because at the end it says how satisfied are you with this call so i just gave him one straight across the board um and I hope that ruined his fucking day. In fact, I might continue to call back and do this until I'm afforded to account services. Uh, so, uh, afterwards, I printed out this letter, which is uh, bereft of any fucking information. And I have written 11 letters. One to their account services team. I'm forwarded, like I wrote a letter and sent it custody of account services to Block uh, Inc. in California. And I sent one to... I sent four to four different reps in one state, three to three different reps in Florida, um, one to the officer, the office of the controller of currency, one to the FTC, and one to Josh Halley in Missouri because he's a senator there, and apparently he doesn't like the the businesses. So, um, and, and I I enjoyed it. I found this cathartic, and I thought I would like to do this more often, and I would like to piss in more people's cereal. So I've talked about starting a um, uh, a a charity in the past, but the thing is, is that charities are prohibited from doing what I've done. A charity cannot write a senator to senator to lobby for legislation. Um, a five hundred one c four can. A five hundred one c four is kind of like a catch all society. Uh, private interest. APAC, for instance, is a 501c4. Um, and it's kind of a weird structure. 
half of the charity must be dedicated to a charitable purpose. And the main downside of a 501c4 versus a 501c3 is that donations to a charity are not tax deductible if they're a 501c4. Um, I still want to move ahead with a charity, but I also want to lobby people. <laughs> so I'm thinking about it. I've been thinking about it for so long, and I, I, I really wanted to set up a 501c3 because I think people would donate a lot more if it was like a, a tax deductible item, but I don't know. I might do, um, you do with this all the time you write your senator, really? I didn't realize people still did that. But I was thinking about it because, like, for instance, that fair access rule, I went through and I read the public comments for the fair access rule that the, the OCC passed and then got rid of. And they received, in total, 6,000 public comments. 6,000 public comments decided whether or not the United States of America would have an important piece of regulatory oversight compelling financial institutions to treat people equitably and not blacklist entire financial sectors. And I'm thinking, people are like so eyes shut. I bet you even a small number of people can annoy the fuck out of government. And it's really motivating to me to, to know that. And what's really pissed me off about the, the OCC thing, I think I talked about this months ago, is that they, all the comments in support of the rule were like gun associations, like the NRA, small gun shops. And then all the ones in opposition were climatological. They were all like, we need banks, payment processors, and Visa card to decide who can and can't process money in the United States because they blacklist evil fossil fuel industries. And that, is, that was prevailing. In fact, the OCC was so influenced by this, this change of policy that after Biden got into office, the OCC hired this absolute swamp monster degenerate Asian woman from New York to become their chief climatological risk officer. The most important regulatory body for the money of our country has a climatological risk factor so that we can make financial decisions that impact climate change. That's how fucking, and that's like, that, that is like an open sore on our ass that exists solely to make sure that the government is less logical and efficient. That exists solely to annoy the fuck out of us. So I, I uh, tried to throw together like a idea of how I want the logo to look. Um, I'm still kicking it around. I need like an actual logo guy because this is AI generated, the, the actual boulder. And I have a, a better idea of how I want this to look. And I'm talking about that in the math internet thread. But I, I searched for literal hours to find a font. <laughs> literal hours to find the font. And I love this font. And I'm working on the spacing, but I really like this font. I might change the top font a little bit, but... This is pretty close to what I have in my head. Uh, so I will, I will start this. Been, I'm, I want to start this in 2025. I'm really thinking about it. I will probably force Harden to become our chief legal officer. But to, um, to start a 501c3, we, as I mentioned before, we need three people. So I might need two more if Harden refuses, which he might, because I haven't even spoken to him about this, but I would probably force him. <laughs> I'll guilt trip him. And then I need like a third person. And I'm, I'm considering I should probably get somebody from near D.C. so that they can actually go out and do things for me in, in the district. And I have an idea of one person who might be near D.C., but I don't know anybody else who like lives like an hour away tops from D.C. who can go there to annoy people for me. What is the font to trade secrets? Nice font, though, isn't it? Uh, so my, my, um, my thought is that the, the goal would be three things to rein in copyright, to provide carrier, common carrier limitations to ISPs, including private, like business host. And then also, um, regulate in the same sense uh payment processors and payment networks that's a very simple 
basic outline that I think is achievable, chat. I think that that's achievable. We will see. Oh, um, that's my plan. I'm very annoying. Okay, next. You live 30 minutes from... Look, if you actually live near D.C., are willing to travel to D.C., and especially if you are someone who has worked in nonprofits, either 501c3s or 501c4s, and you want a board member position, and you have, like, experience to make that not a retarded decision on my part, uh, get into contact, send me your resume. There's one guy that says that he did lobbying for, um, or did work with a nonprofit out of D.C., but he hasn't sent me his resume yet. You have to send me your resume. Serious job. Yeah, the 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 Kiwi seal for a rumble was pretty good. Though I forgot who did that. So my here's my issue is that I get this volunteer work every so often, and then I completely lose track of who submitted stuff. So, um, like for instance, the guy that did the the slobber mutt t-shirt from way back when i lost that artist i tried getting into contact with any email i could find of his and he didn't respond so um i need to keep like a, a black book of people i can rely on for shit thanks so for watching this clip this is willow i remember so like it subscribe